Murray Firth bathed in autumn sunshine and a great setting for our game of the day. Hello and a warm welcome to Football First. We're here in Inverness. Our match of the day is Inverness Caledonian Thistle against Ross County. It's the Highland Derby and invariably attracts the biggest crowd of the day. It's a fixture that has a unique place in Scottish football. The setting is here for our game of the day. But first of all, let's find out what the fans think about this fixture. Oh, it's extremely important. I'm sure Inverness Cali are going to do the business this afternoon in a big way. It matters to win and it hurts if you don't win. Oh, this is this is the biggest game of the season of in the league, and so you, you can't get beat by Cali. You can't show them more weak. Yeah, I don't think we'll be disgraced today. If we come away here with a point, we'll be highly delighted, but I think we'll get more than that. Well, there we are. We've seen what the fans think. There's no doubt this is a huge game. This place is packed for this game today. The team's just about to come out. The rivalry is intense in this fixture, as you'll find anywhere in Scotland, and there were a few crunching tackles in this one, as Russell Duncan was to discover Brian Irvin making his presence felt. And the early chance for Bobby Mann from the free kick. There wasn't much between the sides to start with, although Cali always looked more likely to score. They were able to string a few passes together, and in the end, County would be glad that Brian Irvin's header wasn't a couple of feet further left. The first goal is always important in a derby and these games can be hard enough without gifting a goal to the opposition. A lesson Mark McCormick learned the hard way. <laughs> County fought hard to get back in it but found a usually reliable Steve Hislop off form on the day. Having lost the first goal to a defensive mistake, the last thing County needed was to lose another. But, like that first goal, it could have been so easily prevented. Mark Perry sleeping, Dennis Wyness is too good a player to miss chances like these. The fans can't quite believe it, it's enough to beat your rivals, but for them to gift goals is an added bonus. And from then on, it was all Cali. Paul Ritchie denied by a brilliant piece of goalkeeping by Tony Bullock. But the third goal and the icing came from Wyness, although he does owe a debt to the strength of Paul Ritchie and his ability to hold off the defender until help arrives. And the help came in the form of Roy McBain. His tenacity set up another goal of skillful simplicity for Wyness. This man has a habit of making it look easy and for that reason he might not be too much longer at Cali Thistle. The scouts are watching every week. And now from the sublime to the bizarre and a dip into the rule book. That's the rule that says an indirect free kick has to hit a player before going in the net or a goal is not awarded. The whole stadium were scratching their heads at this one. Jim Calder allowing the ball to go straight in. Delight for Cali, no consolation for County. Generally they've been very strong at home with a wee... Uh set back a couple of weeks ago against St Mirren where I felt we should have certainly taken something from the game but I think the day emphasised how strong we are at the Inverness um, I thought we dominated the game more or less throughout and you know I think the scoreline was a fair reflection on the 90 minutes Would you say it was a case of that you were too strong for them or would you say that it was a very poor performance by County? <laughs> um, well I think we played really well uh, I think Neil will tell you what his feelings on his team uh, I always feel, I said before the game, if we play uh, to our full potential, then I think we'll beat most teams uh, in the league. Never played well today. First half, they, they came at us without getting in behind us, and then we give them an own goal, and then we're chasing it again. But we never played well today. When you come to play Cali Thistle, you have got to be in top form. Today, we were far from that, and um, I apologise to the fans because today that wasn't good enough. Um, and we, the second goal was a shocker for us as well. Mark Perry gets caught in the ball, no danger, and if it's 2-0, then when they go ahead like that, they are a very difficult team to, to, to try and get by.